I've had some readers email me. They've received chestnuts in the mail as a Christmas gift, and they really don't know how to roast them. So I tried to do a few, and I didn't have a lot of luck. So I enlisted my friend Simon Webster here. He's from England. So I thought maybe he could teach me a few lessons. Christine, thanks for inviting me around again. Chestnuts, great thing at this time yeah, of year. Yeah, roast but them on an open fire. You can do, and it keeps your hands warm. Yeah. The other way is to put them into some boiling water. Oh, okay. Once they've been in there for a few minutes, pull them out. Yeah. Take a little knife, just cut the little top in there, and you should be able to just peel them open. And oh, that's open that's like that. that's a, that's peeling a lot easier because I tried to do these um, in the I oven and those. on the barbecue, and they kind of didn't work. They broke out. Yeah. Yeah. That was maybe that's one of, of my problems. So. But there's an easier, <laughs> even an easier way. I found these on the Oh, shelf. that's right. Well, well, they have them in little vacuum packs and also in jars, so you can just chop them up and put them into whatever you'd like. Um, you can, I've also seen where you cook them in a little sugar and vanilla, and you can mix them in a cake or yeah, and you cookies can put them or something. Stuffing, which you put in the yeah, stuffing for turkey. Well, I've put some in a risotto here. This is a butternut squash risotto with some chestnuts mixed in, so it's a nice, warm, hearty dish for this time of it year. Looks good. Yeah, it does. You enjoy chestnuts in London, don't you? I did. I was living in London <laughs> for a year and I was walking down the streets there and they have them roasting on little charcoal grills. Well, and once you got those peeled, this is about, you know, That's what how you're they were looking. With. But then you yeah. can chop them up and put them in, as you say, into cakes and, and to stuffings mm -hmm. and things like that. So they're great. You can actually make a chestnut soup. Oh, that would be good too. With some English Bristol cream sherry. Yeah. On. Well, let me serve you up some risotto here. Well, thank you keep you nice and warm. So you can find this recipe and other tips on chestnuts in Wednesday's flavor section of the Tyler paper or on CBS19.tv. Thanks for coming Simon. Thank you very much. There's a fork for you. Thank you.